Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Link is in the description box below. If you need a personal reading, please do hit like, share, subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate that. All my Virgos, how are you? All right, let's see. I know the past two readings were so let's get some love energy here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, with your person, past, page of pentacles, two of cups, seven of swords, okay. The present, yay, the sun, and the seven of cups, and the four of swords, and the future, okay, the devil, seven of pentacles. <laughs> you can't always get what you want. All right, let's take a look. Um, first, you know what? I got some, uh, Romance Angels cards. I used to have them years ago. I ordered a new, a new set. So let's take a look and see what the love messages are here first. Oh, okay. They want you to have these. Yes, this is your soulmate, Virgo. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Fi finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And wedding, this situation involves marriage. Okay, that's the overall message here. Okay, so I do feel like, yes, this is your soulmate. This is your other half. This is your person. And you know what? I'd rather have a soulmate relationship than a twin flame because twin flame relationships, phew, they're tough. But this is definitely like you guys have some type of connection between the two of you that is just easy um it's beautiful it's it's friendly it's like you both understand one another maybe this is somebody new um but you understand one another you're on the same page that feels like very two of cups energy you guys came together in the past and recognized one another um like there was a mutual understanding between the two of you, okay? Um, overall. Um, and I feel like in the past, your person saw that and I feel like they believe that you are soulmates, even if they don't use that word. I feel like they do believe that you're soulmates. Like there's no doubt in their mind that you are, okay? Um, and I feel like, this person wasn't very communicative with their emotions most of the time. I feel like they had a lot of ideas and plans and things that they wanted to do. Um, that Page of Pentacles energy, you know, in the past, it's like somebody, like they're very patient, but they had like new ideas, new ways to make money. Um, they, but they were always kind of in that like, youngish youthful way about them like new projects new plans and stuff like that and I feel like your person wanted to partner up with you perhaps to do something but the seven of swords here some some type of fishy activity okay I do feel like there will be a marriage between the two of you um but there are financial issues at this time Okay, there may have been some theft or stealing on their part in the past. Um, there may be something here where they are trying to get some support or help from some friends or other people in their life in regards to this situation. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a strong magnetic attraction here. It's not unrequited love. It's just, um, we're going to clarify. I want to see. That's Seven of Swords. Now, there might have been some cheating or lying, uh, some theft, betrayal, dishonesty, or a sense of running away. Your person may have run away from your connection, just took off, just left. Okay. Um, let's see this Page of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like your person had all these plans and ideas and things that they wanted to do. Um, they were giving you... Virgo, like, 
they were telling you about all this future stuff and what they wanted and all that. And they were trying to avoid something ending. They were trying to keep something from ending. Maybe they were making these promises or saying things to you like, you know, it's, you see how the, he's, the pentacle is there. It's like floating, but he doesn't have his hands on it. So it's a little bit out of his reach, but these are mostly like ideas and concepts, right? You know, it's like a, like a young kid that has like plans and ideas to start like a lawn mowing business, you know, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, oh, I want to do this. I'm going to do that. And this is how it's going to be. And um, this is what it's going to be like. And I feel like your person was kind of doing that with you because there was definitely a connection, but they were doing it like, cause they, I don't feel like they wanted to lose you or they were trying to prevent, you know, that Ten of Swords energy from happening in the past. They were trying to prevent a complete and painful ending or like it not working out. So they might have been like kind of stringing you along a little bit with their plans or their ideas. Um yeah, look, Two of Pentacles on the Two of Cups. This person was definitely wanted to commit and keep things balanced and, you know, stay focused on, on your partnership. But why is the Seven of Swords here? What happened? Okay, yeah, this person's got some um, internal mental issues or struggles, okay? Yeah, they do. Self-imposed prisoner kind of thing, you know? Something might have happened. They didn't want to take accountability for something, so they ran away in the past. Now, this is all past energy, okay? Maybe that resonates, I'm not sure. But right now, I see this person right now, like, dreaming about you, fantasizing about you, and thinking very good, positive thoughts about you right now, presently. Okay, we have Leo energy here. Capricorn energy. So whomever your person is, it's fine. But I feel like your person is like, they're thinking about you. They don't know where you are. They don't know what you're doing. And when they lay in bed, you know, when they take their nap, I don't know if they take a nap, but when they're like laying down, they like fantasy, are thinking about you. A very positive light. Huh, it's very strange. This person either they got caught doing something well, actually, they didn't, didn't they? So the seven of swords reverse would be getting caught doing something in the upright. This person was being deceitful. They have a, a strong insecurity that this is like underneath. This is behind the scenes kind of stuff that you may not have seen. Or that's why I feel like in the past you were just kind of like, what the heck happened? Right? Because um, the eight of swords sometimes makes me feel like this person, they sabotage. It's like self-sabotage. They, saw, they sabotaged the connection in the past. But why are they thinking about you? That Seven of Cups is like living in fantasy land, you know? Visions of grandeur. Thinking of what could have been or what might have been or what could it, how things could be currently between you. Yeah, temperance is here. Hmm. This person believes definitely, like I said, they know it's a soulmate connection. This person wants to be with you. They let their mental um, struggles get in the way of being able to forge ahead with you. But I feel like with temperance here, they're quite positive that in the right time, you guys will come together. They feel very positive about this. It's almost as if they're manifesting it in their mind, you know, or they have dreams about you or they think about you, you know, um, that's Sagittarius energy. So Temperance is like, you know, they're being very patient. Okay. They're being very positive and patient, having a sense of self-control, moderation. Why is the seven of cups here? Look, the sun again, very positive about you. We've got a rainbow here. Um, You know, I don't know if you guys, if this person ran away like permanently, I don't, I'm not, I don't know if you're speaking right now or if you're not, I don't see any communication happening currently. 
I feel like this person is definitely thinking about to communicate with you, but there's so far not much in the way of communication. Okay, the moon, yeah. Dreaming at night. Because I'm dreaming of you tonight. So I feel like this person, that's Piscean energy there, the Leo again, this person's like, They're, they think about you day and night, Virgo. You are always on their mind. And they believe in their heart that you two will be together, that there will be marriage commitment, that you, like, you are their person. The attraction, they can't get away from that magnetic pull. There's this invisible magnetic pull between the two of you. They feel it. Okay. You know, these are three major arcanas here. Yeah, no communication. They're not saying anything right now. They're thinking. They're thinking about what to do. The Knight of Wands, do they come after you? You know, in the right at the right time? Like they're very Physically, like the mag oh my goodness, the chemistry, very lustful towards you, very physically attracted to you, and they just daydream and fantasize about you. That's that Knight of Wands energy with the Seven of Cups. You know, this person just they they think about your body, they think about your your mind, the things you've said, the way you say things. Everything just turns them on. Yep, the Ace of Cups telling you they're thinking about how they feel about you how to have a, they, this person wants to definitely have a new beginning with you they're feeling that love energy is all around them you know that um never definitely they're thinking going within matching their feelings up to you know making some kind of proposal connecting with themselves thinking about you thinking about the love that was there they felt it was there in the past you two came together look there's no doubt there was a reason for you coming together okay it was a very healing a very blessed healing connection we have a line up there for leo but very blessed healing connection it was meant to be there's some struggles and difficulties let's see what we have the devil again obsessed with you like this person is not going to go away they're not going to give up on you Okay, this person is like very codependent or addicted to you, you know, um, like there's a, ch there's a chain they feel. <laughs> the star. And they definitely, they might have some addictions themselves that they're trying to heal going forward. You know, a healing energy, they want renewal, they want to be back in your arms again, they want to be physically, be physical with you, connect with you, sexually connect with you like they're addicted to your body, to your kiss, to your senses, you know, that like it's just, they want you, all of you. It's a very healing, cathartic connection when you guys make love, like that, that energy it's like they just cannot get enough and they're daydreaming and they think about that all the time. This person's very um, sexual, I believe. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles here and the Five of Wands. This is contemplation. <laughs> yep. This person is, is very much like they're not in doubt about getting married to you or being in like some kind of like constructive relationship like something that's I don't wanna, why i can never find the word like conventional like to conform you know go in front of like you know an initial um, you know whoever does weddings or things like that like coming into a full-on committed relationship that has boundaries and rules and expectations and all that this person i don't know that they've ever really experienced that before um they may have never been married they may have always been on the verge or maybe you know but they struggle with some things i feel like this person is fully in contemplation now like they already know 
that's what I'm saying. This person already knows that you're the one um, for them, okay? And I'm not sure what happened. I know there's like a financial thing going on. I'm not sure if you're still in communication with them or not. I don't know exactly what happened if you're not. Um, but even if you are, like it doesn't matter because when they think of you, you're the one for them. How they come about knowing this, I'm not really sure. I just feel like maybe it has something if you're not they either they get either get hit on the head or the energy swirling around them that you're the person for them or there's absence and they come to terms with it okay one of one of the other this person is definitely um seeking support and help from other people maybe talking about this about you to them they're telling their friends about you i feel like um the five of wands is here and they definitely will be telling their friends about you um about the challenges and asking how to work through these challenges they may be seeking some counsel as well um somebody wise you know who can give them some good information about like coming into union with you because i feel like they have um they may have been betrayed in the past and it's left them very insecure and they kind of sabotage maybe they sabotage the relationship or just ended it because they didn't want to get hurt again it's the old i left you before you could leave me kind of thing but they may not have actually left they just kind of like puts an obstacle that would make it impossible to be together right um and it was kind of like a manipulative tactic or something let's see it's the five of wands there's also like competition and sport here. I feel like this they see that like you're you're in high demand or that like there's others that may be competing for your attention. And I feel like that's definitely got them thinking about um they don't want anyone else to be with you. They don't want anyone else to touch you or kiss you or you know, have that thing with you. Yeah, look. I mean, they feel like it's like okay, that's fair. Virgo is very attractive, you know, but they want to be the one that like, they don't want to be, they want to be set apart from your suitors. They want to show up like as the winner, like a win-win solution. They want to find a win-win solution. And I feel like there's, they want to tell you the truth. That's Libra energy and Taurus and Aquarius here we've got um guess what you guys the emperor didn't show up what's going on okay okay page of wands yep they're going to communicate to you first of all this person is going to tell you like the truth of the matter is that they've been pining for you since day one and they um are very smitten with you very in fact they're kind of like a, a school girl school boy crush on you and they're, they're going to admit that to you that they feel like that when they communicate with you or when they talk to you or even when they think about you like you are like none other to this person they they get like wobbly knees or their heart pounds you know the excitement and the rush this person feels just to talk to you like they get very like they're, they're they become very active um they maybe when they talk they kind of like um fumble their words i'm hearing okay yep here's the fool this person's a fool for you virgo they're gonna tell you that they're a fool in love i just heard it's weird i just heard um that song Kissing a Fool, is that the song by George Michael? Something like that. Kissing a Fool, this person taking a huge leap of faith to open up and tell you they don't they don't want to they don't want anyone else to be with you they don't want anyone else to have you. Does it sound like possessive energy? Yeah, in some ways. Um, but hey, I mean. Is that such a bad thing? I don't really feel like it's... I mean, there is a little bit of toxicity in this person, okay? I do feel like a, a bit. And I, I definitely see with the star here that, that your person is definitely trying to heal that. 
that that they have a, but i mean everybody's got a little devil energy running in them right none of us are perfect okay um if we were we wouldn't need jesus <laughs> all right let me get a couple of um oh no i don't want these i want the romance i want the uh love messages from your person virgo let's see I remember every detail of that day. Okay, they're fantasizing about your last physical connection, your last physical experience. I'm just letting you know. That's what they keep, they always think about that, Virgo. They don't stop thinking about that. They can't. And anybody they've been with, not that I've seen anybody they've been with, but if they have, doesn't, they always, it's like they close their eyes and they imagine it's you. Okay, marriage, this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Um, Virgo. I mean, if you were married to this person before, it's like remarriage. Okay. This friendship is leading to more. Yep. This person may have treated you like a friend in the past, but was sneaking around. Um, they felt the connection and they were committed to perhaps a friends with benefits or a friend connection. Um, but they were kind of sneaking around, but I don't know, something happened. They ran away. I don't feel like you ran away. I feel like your person ran away. You're still where you are. But since they've been gone, oh, I just heard that Kelly Clarkson song. Since you've been gone, now they're like thinking about you. Denial, detach with love to clearly see the truth. So there's something here for you, but I feel like for them, they since they've been like detached from you like i was saying they're seeing the truth of like how they really feel and they're shocked by the fact that they can't stop thinking about you someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation go slow take time to get to know each other okay there's definitely oh now we've got twin flame here this is a divine counterpart connection that might be um you know I mean, I do feel like this is the soulmate card. The lovers is usually the twin flame. Somebody, you, some of you, it feels kind of like a twin flame thing because there's a, like a lot of there's struggle, but it's actually there's more good than the struggle. But the struggles that you have are just more intense. They're just intense. You don't have as many struggles as a twin flame. Um, soulmates stay together um twin flames tend to go into separation even if you're in separation right now it's mostly because it's not a twin flame thing it's mostly because this person um has some mental stuff going on but a divine counterpart connection yeah it does feel like twin flame it's definitely divine but i don't feel a hundred percent that it's twin flame you know um But I don't really feel like we need to get into semantics. Whatever whatever the story is, I mean, trials and tribulations in a relationship period, and I feel like things are going to get resolved. There will be a win-win. I wish things could be different. This person wants things to change. It's safe to trust in this situation. And they have trust issues, your person. They do. They, they don't, um, they've been betrayed. They've had someone who was sneaking around and lying on them. And you know what, Virgo, some of you, like, let's keep it real here. You, you came into a connection with this person and then you went with somebody else. Some of you did. Some of you were, maybe you did it out of frustration or you felt betrayed or whatever. And then you snuck around and you were dating others. But some of you have your own set of insecurities that you have to deal with as well. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, human is human. And I feel like whatever's going on here, it's really important that, you know, if this person comes back around again, you guys could take it real slow and real just try to get to know each other again. Right? I left before you could leave me. Now, it could have been them who did that. Or maybe it was you, Virgo. Maybe you were having a hard time with this and just was like, I don't know exactly what happened. But whatever was going on, it, it wasn't a mutual split. It wasn't like you both sat down and said, okay, let's let's go our separate ways and then both agreeing that it's not working out and okay, we'll just be friends. It wasn't that. It was like one person left and then the other person left and vice versa, right? So there was like unresolved issues. Things just didn't get resolved. 
boundaries. So firm boundaries are needed now. There's to be a union or coming back in together. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement, okay? Um, and I feel like that is what the boundaries are need to be here, right? Because there's obstacles that need to be overcome, but both need to work on these things together. It has to be, look, here's the, the chemistry card again. That's twice. The attraction you feel is mutual. It's there. It's there, but there's just this thing where you both, I guess, I don't know, there's a conflict and someone brings up an issue or tries to talk about it. Another person runs away or just disappears. Okay. Could go in either direction. Let's see. Or just stops texting or replying to a text. You know, your person, you may have messaged them and you really never got a reply or a follow up. Or, you know, some of you really didn't. You didn't get anything. I'm so attracted to you. This person, I'm telling you, this person's obsessed. Sometimes they stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, because then they fall asleep and then they go into dreamland. And if they're not dreaming about you, they wake themselves up to think about you. You came closer than anyone, Virgo. They know it. That's how they feel. No one else has ever come as close to them as you have. No one. They've never opened their heart and let anyone come as close to you, as close to them. Okay. So I'm going to leave your message there. I don't even know what to call this. Let's call it holy, holy moly. I don't even know what to call this, but I'll figure something out. So, all right, Virgo, I hope you enjoy this reading. Definitely hit the like, share, and subscribe button on my channel if you enjoy that. I'm going to be opening up membership soon. So you'll be able to join my channel and connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. You know, um, I'll do some card pulls and stuff like that. It's $9.99 a month. So I'll let you know when that goes up. So thank you. I will see you guys very soon. Take care.